Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. He is an acrobatic artist on court, the tour's best dancer and a pretty dynamic basketball player. We're talking about Gail Monfils. He has added a new role to his resume these days. He's a YouTube star. Gail is self-producing a series of videos detailing his 2018 season on tour. Titled La Month Story, each video takes viewers behind the scenes with Gail. The third episode posted this week on his TV, YouTube channel, as well as his social media channels. It features a spirited practice match between Gail and his buddy Grigor Dimitrov, shot at the Crandon Park Stadium court in Key Biscayne during preseason. Each video is like a mini film, complete with its own director and music, chronicling aspects of Gail's life on and off the court. The 2016 U.S. Open semifinalist says that going deep at Roland Garros is his main aim for this season. Episode 4 is set for release during the South American Swing. Gail's manager tells Tennis Now that it's possible he could expand the project in the coming months, and you can bet we're going to be watching. 2017 was the year of Rafa and Roger. What a renaissance. Will 2018 belong to the comeback queens? Well, we already saw Caroline Wozniacki break through to win her first major in Melbourne, and now she has regained the world number one ranking exactly six years to the day since she last held that top spot, which by the way, is the longest gap in WTA history. In the coming weeks, we're gonna see Serena Williams, Victoria Azarenka, and also Marianne Bartoli all launch comebacks. Marianne has entered the field for the Tie Break 10s exhibition event that's at Madison Square Garden coming up on March 5th. She joins the Williams sisters and Alina Svitolina in the eight player field that will see the ladies play 10 point super tie breaks with the winner taking the champion's prize of $250,000. Four more players are gonna be announced for that field coming up later. Now, if all goes well, Marion is targeting the Miami Open in March as her first WTA event since 2013, though she said she's not gonna play a tour tournament until she's completely fit. Marion is 10 wins shy of her 500th career victory. Serena Williams is going to join Venus, Coco Vandeweghe, and Lauren Davis for the U.S., which launches defense of its Fed Cup championship coming up next weekend. Captain Kathy Rinaldi's Team USA will host the Netherlands in Asheville, North Carolina, in its opener set for February 10th through 11th. And it's going to be open to the public, which allows fans to get some autographs and selfies with the players. How fun! A few reasons why Serena's Fed Cup return is intriguing though. Number one, a great opportunity for North Carolina fans to see the sisters up close. Number two, and it looks like she's gonna be launching her WTA comeback at Indian Wells, which by the way, she's won twice in the past. Number three, by playing Fed Cup, the Williams sisters both take an important step toward fulfilling their ITF requirements to play the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. Serena looks in playing form after completing the Spartan race with her husband Alexis. Venus is going to be 40 when Tokyo gets underway, but both sisters are four-time gold medal champions and they love the Olympics. Venus has long said that she values the Olympic Games even more than Grand Slams, so we shall see. And a big welcome back, Victoria Azarenka. This former world number one is going to make her long-awaited return to tournament tennis at Indian Wells coming up next month. Tournament director Tommy Haas awarded Vika a wild card into the event, and here's what she had to say about her comeback. Hi everyone, uh, Indian Wells is right around the corner and it is one of my favorite tournaments and is one of the favorite tournaments of all players. We all love coming there and it's been amazing hospitality every year. It's uh, The tournament is improving uh, year by year and it's so wonderful to come back. Azarenka hasn't played a tour-level match since bowing to Simona Halep in the Wimbledon round of 16 last summer. But she looks extremely fit and she is eager. And she'll be armed with new accomplices. You may recall that Vika left Wilson Rackets for Yonix last year. The two-time Aussie Open champion has also hired former Sacramento State coach Slava Konikov as her new coach. Azarenka split with her coach Michael Joyce last year. He is now coaching Joanna Conta. 
You may remember that Vika was forced to withdraw from both the U.S. Open and the Australian Open due to an ongoing custody case with her ex-boyfriend, Billy McKeague, who is the father of their son, Leo. Vika wasn't allowed to leave the state of California with Leo while that case was ongoing. TMZ reports that Vika won a legal battle last month, arguing the case belongs in a Belarus court, which is where she initially won primary custody of Leo. If that court ruling stands, it looks like Vika will be able to start traveling again. Now, of all the comeback champions, and let's include Maria Sharapova, who has accepted a wild card into Dubai this month, who do you think is going to post the best results in 2018, and why? Let us know in the comment section below. And that does it for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.